All right, guys, this is Hawkeye, and we are back with Fishing Planet Classic. And, well, the Halloween missions are over, and we're here to just basically do some fishing again. Now, I didn't do the fishing or the Halloween missions here, mainly because since I'm already here at October River, it is very pricey to keep moving around. And I wanted to be able to explore this a little bit further. I basically only just skimmed the surface of this place. I've only been on uh, Wyatt of the Russian Soul when we were on the boats and all hail the Pioneer's Peg. But we're going to come over here this time to Resting Waters. Now Resting Waters is, uh, if you look at the map, let me go ahead first and get to this peg. As you can tell, it looks pretty much like Resting Waters looks more like a pond than a river at this point and that's kind of honestly it's kind of what it is it's almost like a little lagoon or something maybe an oxbow lake but if you check the map here I guess this is what they would call an oxbow lake but it's basically a little thing offshoot of the river so the water's still, there's no current. So this should be a really good spot for carp, guys. And we haven't caught too many of the carp. And should also be a pretty good location for pike, because there's a lot of cover here. But right now we're not at a uh, peak period. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is set things up first. I don't think there's any holes here, so let me make sure of that. I think it's pretty much the same depth for the most part all around. Yep. So somewhere between 0 and 30 feet, maybe. But we're just going to toss these out, and I think we're going to stick with... I think we're going to stick with the type of bait the carp would go for. Oh, shoot. Might help if I put my rod pot out. Duh. Alright, let's get that set up here. Well, truth be known, if we're going to advance time a little bit, we might want to wait on that. Let's see, what is the peak here? Okay, it's going to start picking up probably around 5 or 6 p.m., so let's advance it to then. Let's make it 6. Cloudy day, so the peaks are kind of odd. They're just at the beginning and ends of the day. Usually with carp, the peaks don't really make a whole lot of difference, but with a cloudy day should make it a little better. And we want to kind of try to stay close to shore if we can. I'll probably be looking using that here in a minute. Let's see, where's my other here they are. Okay, we're already getting some activity off of that. Let's toss this over here. I got some peas. That's another good carp bait. I think I might change this. Let's see, what size hook do I have on this one? Two watt, that should work. Let's see here, guys. We've got semolina balls, we got peas. Well, let's try the pinkies, see what we can get with that. Now, I might size the hook down, that's a little bit big. Let's go with just a number two. Because we've still got an ongoing mission for October Exploration. Yeah, we still have to get the Monkey Goby, the Gungeon, 
and the common rud, or rude, I'm not sure what's the proper pronunciation for that. My guess is rud. Now let me see here, what do I have on my... I've got a crankbait on this one and a shad on here, yellow and red. Let's see what the crankbait does here. I think I might change over. This golem lure might be a good one to try. Golem lure is very popular with the pike. This looks like really good pike area. So we might give it a try. There's a lot of activity over there. Not getting a whole lot of distance off of this rod though. At least the water's deep enough. Yeah, let me check. It's a 40 pound test. That may be the problem here, guys. Let me see if I can't size that down a little bit. Let's see, 20 pounds should be more than enough. And I probably ought to add some kind of a leader on there because these fish are going to be a lot bigger. Yeah, let's just put a 20 pound leader on there. See if we get any more distance with that. Huh, still terrible. Terrible distance. Yeah, that's not going to work. That is not going to do it all. Must have s real. Must be the problem. Well, let's take the golem lure off of here. Yeah, let's put it on here. This has 20 pounds already. And 20, nah. We're just going to have to be real careful. 22 pound titanium lure, leader. Now nah, that's what we're talking about right there. That's the distance I want. And there's some stick-ups over there that looks like a good spot to find some pike. There we go. Looks like we got something interested. I believe this is the semolina balls. Let's see what we got here, guys. Young common bream. Okay, we're getting a lot. Of, I see a lot of activity out there. Let's throw it out there. See if we get anything. Definitely getting some action off of the semolina balls. There we go, we got one of our requirements the common rud, rude, or whatever. Okay, so they're found over here. Yeah, they're very pretty little fish. We're getting some action off of number two. This would be peas. Okay, and this is a big fish here. I'm thinking carp, maybe.
Yep. There we go. There's our first common carp. I knew we had carp territory over here. Tell you what, let's size up that hook a little bit. Let's put a Eh, let's put a four out hook on there. See if we can't catch us a bigger carp. They should be close to shore though right now. Should be close to shore at this time of day. This kind of weather. If not, we'll put it out more towards the center. Oh shoot, I thought I grabbed the... I grabbed the wrong rod there. They're both blue, so... Let me go ahead and get this one in, and I'll... cast the other one out. I think I'm going to cast this in the same spot. If I remember cor correctly, the gobies and the gungeons are usually pretty much close to shore. If I can complete that, I'll at least be one of the, my missions out of the way. Let's try this one this time. Now this one I can get some distance on. I am determined to see if there's a pike in here. That is a really strange sounding bird. seem all that certain about it. There we go. Okay, we got something interested. Let's see what we got here, guys. It is a trophy chub. Very nice. I think I might mark that because haven't seen too many chubs so far. Let's see here. Let's check the map here. Right over there. Now we'll keep coming back to that. Now I'm not going to probably catch anything at the same exact place, but... That will at least give me a starting point. Okay, that is a definite interested fish there. Oh yeah, now we're talking. I'm thinking maybe a trophy carp this time. Like I said, close to shore. Oh wow. Yeah, this guy's this guy's no slouch. Damn. And he keeps taking it out. Oh, I've got to get him in because i got another one here. Come on. There we go. Trophy common carp, and he is nice. Let me see here. Get a quick picture of him. There you go, guys. All you carp lovers... In the world over. <laughs> okay, I gotta do something about this one. This one's getting on my nerves here. 
I'm thinking this might be one of the ones we're after here. I'm hoping anyway. Nope. Silver Bream. Maybe we can get us a unique Silver Bream. Let's keep at that. Um, Alright, let's see. That was the first one. Actually, let's go ahead and get the... Wait a minute, which one have I got in here? Okay, it's number six. I couldn't remember which rod still needs to get thrown out there. Alright, let's put this one right in here. I have a good feeling about that. See if we can't get us another chub here. Damn. Okay. Okay. Semolina balls. This is not a small fish this time. Actually, this is a very nice fish. It's another carp. Not a trophy, but a decent sized. Yeah, I knew this was going to be Carp Central. I can kind of look at a place and make the determination where these guys are going to be. I mean, you will find them in the flowing water, but they love the still water. What the hell have I got here? I bet you anything it's a... No, it's a pike. Just a little fella. <laughs> Very ambitious little guy. It's an eight odd hook that guy went after. There we go. Yeah, I saw that activity over there. I figured good place to cast. Another young northern pike. See how big the hook is to it? That's so strange. But hey, we're getting them. Now well, their parents have to be in there somewhere. Well, at first it sounded good. Okay, that's got something for sure. Let's see here. Ah, there we go. Yeah, 
I thought maybe it was a trophy at first, but maybe not. Probably just a regular SAS carp. Yep. Yeah, I think what I might do here, let me pull this in first, and then I might change some of the baits up. Since it's the end of the peak, I might be able to get bottom fish for some of these pike, too. See if we can't change this up. Too light. All right. There we go. Put a number two hook on here and see if we can't get something to go for this shiner here. Right out there where all those fish are jumping. Nothing seems to be going for that lure. Let's see. Maybe they'll go for the crankbait here. The crawfish one. It's always seemed to be popular. It's very shallow. Just three feet. Oh wow. Ah shoot. Now that is the shiner one. What do we got here? Got us a little northern pike. He's not a not a young one, but he's not huge either. Can't believe I haven't run into a unique yet. I would have thought this has been unique pike territory. In fact, let's do this. Uh, not this one. Where's my float rod? I always forget where my... Let's see, we got that, we got that. Here it is. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and put large minnow on that. It's already got a four odd hook. Let's take that up to six odd. Forty inches. Ooh, we got one off of this. That could be something big. I was a little worried that just kept going up. <laughs> I thought, oh shoot. Yeah, we've got a something worthwhile here. Hmm. 
Well, still just a regular size. He's big for a re I mean, big for the common size. It's not quite a trophy, though. But I knew that was going to be a good place to toss that. Let's try that again. Actually, let's go ahead and pull all these in because I think the peak period changed. Usually, once it gets past about 12.30 here, the peaks changed. Let me see here. What is the peak now? Okay, well, this isn't a bad time, but the key time is going to be right around 2 a.m. So I think I might advance time to that. Then we'll go ahead and put these, this rod pod down again, if I can. There we go. change the bait over here this time to something hmm. can't use those huh? let's see here I think I might night crawlers because large carp do go for the night crawlers. And they should be closer to shore at night. I mean, we'll see. It may not be the case. Finally got one here. We've had a, quite a few of them nibble, but nothing, nothing made any real contact here. Let's see what we got here. I think it's probably, yep, a young common carp. It's off of peas. It's like as soon as 3 a.m. passed. Those times are, are important, it seems like, for the most, for the most part. Yeah, I was really surprised. I would kind of figured there'd be some seriously big pike out here, but there really isn't. This may be a good place to catch carp, and if you happen to have a carp rod and know the recipes and such, which I don't, <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn them. I bet you could do a lot better. Well, there we go. Nice eyed. And maybe this is the eyed spot. Where did I catch him last? Let's see here. Set the mark for the eyed. Okay, right there.
There we go, finally. This is a decent sized fish. Nice common carp. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I thought I'd switch over to Small Menace, see if we couldn't get something a little different. Apparently I'd go for these. And apparently so do Unique European Perch. That's cool. That would be my first one here. And over here we're going to try these crickets. It's on the top of the list for chubs. There we go. Another European perch. Now we're finally getting something on here. Something of significant size. Damn, what in the world have I got here? Trophy eyed. There we go, guys. That's what I was after. Well, unique eyed is what I'd like to get, but I will take him. Apparently, these guys are good eating, and there's a quite a few competitions that involve them. Right over here. Should put that in the third one. What? Okay. That was kind of weird. Oh, there we go. Okay, these small menas are really, really popular here. I think we may have another eyed, and it is unique. There you go, guys. I have found the eyed spot. 381. 
There we go. It's not huge, but hey, you know, it's unique. Okay, let me see if I can't mark that last location. Keep that. Yeah, I think I'll delete that because I've already found. All right, we'll keep all those. So way over there, that is where they're found. Yeah, it's just about morning, guys. I was hoping to pull out a unique common car, but I have not been able to find one yet. I think we got a decent one here. Yeah, those small minnows are really doing well here. There's a lot of trial and error here. That was... oh, this is another, another unique European perch. That's two. Two in one night. Not bad. <laughs> 